Wakey, wakey. I can smell eggs and bakey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How was our sleep last night? Good morning. <laughs> Thank God, good morning. There's so many people in my bedroom. What the heck is going on right now? What are you doing here? Oh, ma'am. Yeah, that was a uh, interesting night's sleep, to say the least. Certain someone wanted to wake up for an hour during the night last night, didn't they? Bless your face. You sneezed during this video. Bless you. Now this is exactly what I'm talking about. Eggs Benedict. Mm. Will it run? Oh yeah. Nah. Oh. Mm. Very nice. I am fed. I am fueled, and I am ready to start this day. Oh, and it would seem my son is learning to crawl. Go on, my boy. Go on! You can do it. You can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your back into it. You can do it, put your back into it. Go on. Go on then. He's like, Daddy, I am too chunky right now. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Yeah, I know, you can do it, baby. <laughs> One shower later, I am up, about, and ready for the next phase of my day. Which consists of me looking out my hotel window wondering what on earth is going going on? Interesting. Ooh, this straight up some fanciness. Not a clue what that was, but what I do know what this is, is my weekday vlog where I upload a new video for your faces at 7pm every single weekday, because I film my life, put it on the internet, and for some reason, you lot watch it. Now I'm going to slide into some flippy floppers, because me and Lydia are off to the spa, because we have had the best babysitters ever. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate you and Alfredo. We will be back in an hour and 20 minutes, which gives you guys plenty of time to create a YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button and for me and Lydia to go <sighs> we have arrived at the spa grab your tea come on cheers baby this is violent by the way cheers could do some milk and sugar <laughs> It's very nice. And the massage I'm about to have is going to be even nicer. An hour and 20 minutes of full bodiness. Oh, yeah. I've just got to get out of this and in to this. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to see that. All right, into the relaxation room. Oh, oh, it's very nice. Oh, it's very, very nice. I'll tell you something. All this travel has been very go, go, go. So to be able to put my feet up, kick back and relax is very nice. And we're off. Oh, this is very nice. <laughs> oh, well, the mood is being set because the blinds are being drawn. This is my home for the next 85 minutes. Let's go. And I, um, I literally just had to select from all these oils what I want rubbing on my body. And I've gone for a like concoction of I want to be relaxed. Uh, uh, revitalized and energized. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in 85 minutes after I've been massaged. Oh, oh, that was, that was bloody lovely, that was. Wow, it's not every day you wake up, breakfast in bed, babysitters look after the baby, and then an 85 minute massage. Oh. Now, I actually have no clue what the rest of this day is going to offer, but <laughs> they're handing out free combs. Oh, don't mind if I do. I just decided to, like, look out the window and see what's there. And I realised I can see into all these office buildings. Look, there's just, there's so many people just chilling in there, like, working at a meeting. Or, wait, is it a school? Nah, surely not. No, it's like office buildings, see? That is mental. <laughs> Hello there. And hello there to you. Did you enjoy your masage? It was good, right? <laughs> okay. Where is he? Where is he? Happy Little but oh, a day to you. Happy, Happy five month birthday to you. Happy five month birthday, dear Alfred. Happy five month birthday to you. We, we didn't really, we should practice this. Uh, Banana! You were born five months ago today. Are you the biggest boy? Are you the biggest boy? <laughs> Has it been good? It's been brilliant.
Has he? Yeah. Oh, has he been here by any chance? He's been here. <laughs> I've washed his shirt. Oh, you've been gay. Okay, quick change. And we're out of here. And our man is back at it again, just... Mm. Mm. Entertaining the masses because they're dancing. What What have I walked into? Is this a dance along? Oh, a Mexican wedding? Yeah, sure. We've just come out of the elevator underneath our hotel and discovered an entire civilization for the peninsula where they're making all like the desserts, the treats. That's what we ate on the, on the, on the first night. I didn't even know this was down here. A peninsula bakery. Oh my, wow. Look at all this. How have we been staying here for like nearly four days or something and we didn't know this was here? Look, it's an entire bloody shop. It's got like bakery and stuff like that. Little teddy bears, I bet Alfie would love that. They've even got snow globes or um, snow domes. Oh, very cute. Oh, we found the Easter chocolates. Oh, these adorable little chicks. And then that sculpture at the front of the hotel. They're just making them here. Oh, we shouldn't be down here. We should not be down here. It's just food. Everywhere you bloody look. We're now attempting not to get lost as we're back in the underground. And I think we're heading to a temple. It is busy. Alfred, stop it. Stop it. From this train to the next. I haven't yet seen a 7-Eleven down here. I'm slightly disappointed. But give it time. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We may be on the wrong train. My bad. Sorry about that one, team. <laughs> Don't worry. Get this bit out. I was on the right line, just the wrong side of the tracks. That's okay. Thanks. I've done that once before. Okay. And wasn't that my fault as well? <laughs> hey! Take two. The lights are flashing and the train is coming. Look at that. Oh boy. Everyone, breathe in. Ooh. This is a very busy train. But we made it. Now we've just got to get out of here. <laughs> that was a lot of stairs. Oh, a family mart never looks so good. Come on, have the good stuff. Come on, have the good stuff. Lovely. And a ginger ale for Lady. Yeah, well done. Hey, oh. So we've really traveled half an hour to go there. Really? You're a big fan, are you? Wait, what is it? It's like a hedgehog cafe or something? It's, um, I'm so confused. Oh, it's a 50 year anniversary of that. Okay, so we've come to a temple. So you're gonna see loads of people walking around in geisha dresses. Probably not what it's called. But either way, you're gonna see a lot of people in those kind of dresses. How awesome. Whoever actually picked to come here, great shout. Look at this. Wow. Really good shout. Look at that. Wow. This looks amazing. Flipping heck. I was about to ask. What is it? But I found a sign that can explain it. The Caminari Mono. Nope. The Caminar Imon Gate, aka the Thunder Gate. Standing at the entrance to professional road leading. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys pause the video previously and read it. Incredible. Look at the detail underneath it. Oh, okay, I'll give you an actual view of it. That is mega. Now, apparently, as you read from that, this is not the original gate that was once here. It burned down, so they built a new one. And of course, you'd have all this traditional looking architecture in this gateway and that building there, right next to a modern day Starbucks. Well, once you've got your Starbucks, you can come here to pick one of the one billion selections of lip balm. At first, I wasn't sure what this was. I thought it was like a mystery package bag that you could buy, but then I realized it's like cakes. And look at the machine they've got to make them. This is brilliant. Look, just rotates around and then watch, it flicks it up and closes it. <laughs> this is what I love about Japan, you, just, you never know what's around the corner. Apart from a 7-Eleven. This is happening right now. Oh. So if you've watched Bee's video, oh, yeah. this is where she came Shh. and she said this is amazing. Okay, get me in the line, because I want one of these. And if I fancied it, rather than getting an ice cream, I could get um, a ham and cheese Hi, ice cream. Do you want one? Oh, absolutely. It would appear I was in the wrong queue for the churro sunday. I think you get them from here. Oh, a cookies and cream waffle. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm getting that instead. Good decisions have been made. Oh. Mm, that's good. Mm, that's really good. I got distracted and I got a, a waffle instead. Do you want a bit? Look it's very... No, thanks. Oh, it's very cute. Oh, how very adorable. I can't tell whose looks better. Yours or mine? I like mine. Come on, try this. Mm. 
Is that it? No. Mm. Custard mochi with strawberry? Yeah, don't eat all my strawberry. Okay. That's okay. Ooh, I found some free samples of salty rice cracker. Mmm. Very mm. good. Yeah. Arigato gazabas. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It was like a less flavorful what's it. Well, this looks like a rather healthy option for us. If we don't go for that one or that one. <laughs> We've just paid for the strawberries. But what did the sign say, Lid? Walking. Interesting. Eat by the side. Eat by the side. I'm gonna try a white strawberry. Soft. Very soft. Kind of just, kind of just vanished. Just the way I describe it is, it tastes like moisture. It's, it's not right. <laughs> oh, chopstick shop. Oh, these are some fine craftsmanship here. I'm gonna head to the back and look at the ones in the cupboard because these are clearly the most expensive Whoa. these are fancy fancy and these ones they look like harry potter ones <laughs> lydia's hit the jackpot those normal strawberries terrible these are candy cupboard strawberries look at that oh yeah buy that oh one. no what because i dropped it i have to oh okay maybe i don't I, maybe i don't have to eat it oh this is cool this guy here is cooking these little rice crackers that you can buy wow I don't know why they put these bean stuff in everything. It's not the nicest thing in the world, but you know, we're watching how it's made. I wonder how many of these this guy makes a day. It's gotta be in the hundreds of thousands. Now, if they were filled with chocolate, we would be talking. We've only made it about 50 feet away from the entrance and we've eaten like 18 snacks. I'm not complaining by any means, but by the time we get to the end, we're gonna be full. This sounds good. It is a Japanese sweet potato in sticky syrup. And it would appear we have the right amount. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. Arigato gozaimasu. Sold. I've got my little doggy bag to go. And we've made it to like a crossroads of sorts. Oh, I hope. Look at that fella just chilling. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like looking at the architecture. She's like, look at all the pigeons. Oh, it's lovely. More blossom trees. Seems like the perfect spot to try my sweet potato. It tastes like cake. Vic. Vic. Try that. Is it horrible? No, it's really nice. If I didn't if I didn't tell you it was potato, you would think it was a cake. Right? Right? That's delicious. Yeah, you gotta try this. You gotta try it. It tastes like cake. Oh. It's weird. That's sweet potato. Sorry for Yeah. I had a big bag. That is mm. good, isn't it? It's so picturesque. Something is leading me to believe that this is the picture spot because everyone keeps lifting up the phones and taking pictures of the trees. But then I think they're shooting the picture of the, the, like the temple and the tower in the background. And at long last, he escapes the strip. I feel like I was on there for about three hours, but we've made it to the end and there is another gate here and I found the gate. And I will say this place is very, 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 very busy. Absolutely stunning location though. Are we going to find out your fortune? Yeah. Oh, what did we do? Yeah. Dropping 100 yen whilst praying yeah. for your wish. Shake the box politely a few times. All right, I think I know what I'm doing. I put the money in, I'm, I wish for my wish. And then shuffle this box gently. Not one. And... Okay. I don't see a number. Oh wait, Alfie's doing his fortune. Come on, little dude. Come on, little dude. Come on, you can do it. Yes! Well done. Wait, have we now got to match the symbol? Oh. Wait, how did you find it so fast? That symbol? Wow, well played. Are we your number 23? That's my birthday, that's my lucky number. Honestly, Lydia, how did you find that so fast? There's like 90 yeah, combinations. Vix was well easy to find as well. Is that it there? Oh no, no, oh, okay. Maybe I'm bad at this. Are you sure? Plus. Oh, you're looking for the first number. That's how you say it, there, sure. Is it? 66. There you go. Yeah, mine here. 66. Mine's in fact. Um, There's no way I pulled 69. <laughs> I pulled 69. 
out of 100, out of 100 numbers, I pulled 69. Let's go ahead and triple check this. Yes, 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 69. <laughs> Such a cunt. It is. See? All right, where's my fortune? What? No, I got bad fortune. Mine's bad fortune. Is it? What's I yours? Did... Oh, we got good fortune. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. It's prosperous for all of us. Mummy's turn. The, the clear moon is covered by thick clouds. The sky got dark and doesn't get fine. A red flower decayed to half. The bad fortune is, that is found among the happiness. Though you want to try and make the thing perfect, it hurts your mind with troublesome matters. They warn you never to think of an excessive desire, impossible like to sail so far by boat. Did you get bad fortune as well? Same. Your request will not be granted. Do not get relaxed to care the patient. The lost article will not be found. The person you wait for will not appear. Building a new house and removal are both bad. Did you hear that? What? It's no good to start a trip. Marriage of any kind and new in employment are bad. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> well, um, Alfie's fortune will do great in his travel box, won't it? He's put a bloody hole in it. Ali, Al Al who's Ali? <laughs> Alfred. Okay, I've tied up my bad fortune to the rack and I leave it there and hopefully the bad fortune doesn't come with me. It doesn't, you leave it behind. I leave it behind. I refuse to take you. And just to clarify, you got bad fortune, you got bad fortune, and Lydia... Lydia also got bad fortune. Alfie was the only one. You are a lucky charm. A lucky charm. Hey, it was a bit obvious that we had bad fortune. Lydia's just been peed on by Alfie. Good lad. Good lad. But fortunately enough, there's a toilet over there. You big smelly bottom bugger. Wow, once we're done, but I'm gonna have to show them how this toilet opened. This was crazy. You ready? Look at this. It's like a tar- Oh, I'm about to get chopped in half there. It's like a TARDIS. Wow, what a cool bathroom. Mm, not quite sure what's going on here, there, there, or there. I, I guess we think it might be like a nighttime stall or something like that, like where they shut down the proper shops that we've seen and are like on the floor markets, but actually yeah, so I don't have a clue. We finally managed to make it to the temple at the end, but before we enter into it, I've got a show you how warm this is it's where they throw all the uh, incense like look you can you can see the sticks where they throw it in and it is so warm it's lovely okay yet another thing to throw your money into as you can see people doing here and then praying so i'm going to do the same it's actually so lovely to watch people doing it and then actually in the background you've got all this absolutely beautiful just artwork and golden lanterns and all sorts and then you've got a guy in a kilt <laughs> wow from being inside in the darkness to out here look at this <gasps> oh we're off-roading this is absolutely stunning <gasps> great spot to sit lid wow look at these gardens oh this is beautiful welcome to this episode of Influencers in the wild. Here we see two native TikTokers dancing to their phones. They will do the boogie boogie and the woogie woogie and post it online for millions to see. <laughs> yeah, no, if we could find that video, that would be brilliant. Listen, I couldn't do that in public. It, uh, vlogging, fine, but that sort of stuff, I... Uh, uh, this is actually a very nice moment, us all just chilling here. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Just try to take in the view with Alfred in the background. <laughs> Honestly, the longer we sit here, the nicer the sky is getting. It's just, it's just beautiful. Well, there I do say, good timing. They're kicking everyone out. High five. We may have missed trains twice because of me. But I got us here before the temple closed. Yes. I think we were right about the nighttime stands because now these cars have turned up in force and they are loading things up. Again, I'm just missing a trick. I should be all dressed up for the occasion and I should have a, I should have a selfie stand and everything. <sniffs> Idiot Tom. Even more pink blossoms. Even more drinks machines. It is stunning, isn't it? It is pretty. Wow. Going through wow. yet another gate that is just Oh, sorry to be annoying to constantly be like, wow, would you look at this? Wow, would you look at that? But like, honestly, it's just, I feel so fortunate just to be able to be here and visit this. 
Like, it's beautiful. And what a good time we decided to come here. Like the sun is just going down and all the lights are switching on and this place is just glowing right now. Lydia and co have gone into Uniglo and I'm not really bothered about clothes shopping. So I've kind of come out for a bit of a wonder and I found this place. Don't quite know what it is but uh, I'm gonna find out. You can buy face masks and uh, toenail clippers. There's snacks and Pokemon treats. Not sure about these ones. You know what? This place is giving me like B&M or home bargain vibes. It's a kind of everything and anything sort of vibe. However, this place is like 10 stories high. What on earth is this? <laughs> Imagine being the face of that. One way to promote a brand, I guess. Oh, I am in the thick of it now. It's just, it's just very intense. Everything about everything in Japan is just. Oh, that's where I was a second ago, just down here, and Lydia and her family are in there. Imagine if I could see them through the window. That'd be quite funny. I'm just continuously going up and seeing where it leads. Wait, is this is this a pet food floor? <laughs> what? I'm now in baggage and clock aisle, high end handbag and samurai sword section oh video game section yes i finally found some mario stuff and of course lots and lots of pokemon flipping heck oh this is oh oh should i get these for alfie oh they're sweet there ain't no way there ain't no way i've just found this aisle bloody hot wheels please tell me they've got a monster truck oh i don't see one no oh that would have been so good i did just exit but then i found lydia so we're going back inside <laughs> yes oh we found bit look at that for a bib that's so good. Lydia's found the world's smallest Polaroid camera. Take the picture. Oh, it doesn't it, print. Then you need the printer to print. Oh, the look how small it is, though. You can hang it from your keys. That's cute, but at the same point, you might as well just take a picture of your phone now. I get it, it's a cute little gimmick. Like, that's the kind of thing we've got at home, but you can get a little tiny version of it. Everything in Japan is so cute. We survived the chaos. No such luck. But no such luck because we wanted to try and find Alfie a cute little outfit. Hello! No, are you just so are you just taking it all in oh my little dude i'm so proud of you how on earth did we walk out of there without seeing that what the heck size of that thing he would have ate you in one bite <laughs> it's home time now little weed it's home time we're going back and we're finding some food yeah we're gonna have to go for that one get me on get me on get me on Flipping heck. comfy there deb Hi. wow Wonder yeah, marathon. yeah, wonder underground. No the marathon. Mar really? On marathon days is what you like. Yeah, yeah. Like. Oh, I can believe it. Wow. I'm so proud of Alfie. You little rascal. What have you been doing today? Have you been adventuring? Thank you for all your helps. You've been amazing. And you've been the best. Of course, yeah. Go ahead then. Oh no. Oh no. Lydia put us on the wrong train. It's so easy to do, man. It's. It's. So Ah, see, it's, it's easy to make a mistake. One-handed now. Oh, hey. <laughs> I am the man. Give, give me the baby, I'm the crowd. No, we're staying safe, aren't we? You don't need to be balanced. Hey, if this one ends up being the wrong one, we can blame me. But as far as I'm aware, this is going to take us to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Are we confident? I'm confident. <laughs> the other one's going the way. Hopping off the train and A. What a good ride. How incredible is that? Oh, hello! <laughs> That's quite a lot of stairs. There's a fucking over here. Oh, Vic, thanks for helping, mate. I really appreciate that. Hi ho, hi ho. It's up the stairs we go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. We made it. Flipping heck. Oh, such a. Thank you. Hey -o. We're back on our favourite street to get food. Worth noting that if you do want the good sushi place, it's just there. Right? By the I think we sushied out, right? Yeah. Yeah, that place there. Incredible. Incredible. Ah! Orion! Explosion! I've taken a random turn away from the guys because I've got to take you down here just to look at how cool this atmosphere is, right? Looks pretty normal. Then this is an actual restaurant. Look how small it is. Look at that. 
look at that. That's a little restaurant, that's a little restaurant, and then check this out. Whoa, this is like, well, this is all the locals just chilling after work. Look at this. Yes. Wow, so cool, man. Now we're going for a risky business here. We're back at the first place we tried on the first night. At Azzy. Yeah, that's Probably because you don't look like a white guy with a backpack and like a tourist, but we're going to go in here because it's a ramen spot and we will find out collectively whether or not the place where we tried to go for our first ever meal in Tokyo is any good. Harsh review incoming. And the choices are, ooh, tonkotsu ramen, all toppings. I love how this order system works. You just press it and get a ticket. And then once you've got all your tickets, you give it to the server. And when the food's ready, it gets brought to the table, like so. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. Wow, this looks good. All right, here we go. Let's try the broth. No, but it's good. It's different. It's, do you know what, it's more like a turkey soup. It is. It's it. Oh, arigato. <laughs> when Vic says something's good, she means it's good. Do you see what I mean about the turkey soup? Get that rich, rich warmth. I'm gonna try the noodles before I like dig into it. Look at them. Ready? Okay, just for the record, it's boiling. My glass is steamed up. I, didn't, I managed to eat the entire like one noodle out of that. Wow, I, I've got no taste buds left. I'm gonna try that one again. Let's do this. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Meat review. Very good. Wow. I've had the meat yet. <laughs> so good. Dang it. I can't tell whether I wanted it to be bad and be like, oh, I'm glad we didn't go on the first night, but I'm glad we didn't give up and we came back when they were like having people in. So I think we just came at the wrong time, honestly. We came at like what? Half one in the morning. Hey, Google Maps, by the way, did say it was open because people were like, Tom, it was probably just the time, but it looked open. It said it was open, but at least they didn't shout get out to us. So good. It's something. You think you prefer this to the other one? Yeah, yours got soggy. Oh, 11 out of 10. I actually just Google translated what um, amazing was in Japanese and it's Subarashi and I said it and both of the chefs were like, yeah. Can we just say as well that the guys are really lovely tonight? Oh yeah, no, yeah. they're very nice. Yeah, yeah, the guys the guys here are being lovely, but yeah, I was like, Subarashi and they were like, hey. Oh boy, this, <laughs> this food has done a number on me. Like, you forget, you basically drink, well, you drink ramen, don't you? So it's like, I always get food, the, the food, the ramen, and then a drink as well. And then I've just got too much liquid in me. I could, I could go and lie down under a bench in a park and not wake up for about a week. Right, out of 10s around the board. I've gone for 11. 11. Pick. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lid. Solid nine. I just filmed the clip and I said 9.9, .9, then I deleted it. I'm going for 10. Great shout. 10. Very good. 20 out of 10. It cost, it cost a fiver. A fiver for that. Should we have 12 more? Shall we have 12 more? <laughs> so, if we actually would have gone into there on the first night, it would have just been the absolute cherry on top of a first day coming to Tokyo. Again, it is what it is. I just chalk it up to, you know, our fault really. But, wow was that good if you ever come to this strip i highly highly recommend this spot yeah uh, yeah i can't even pronounce that all right are you gonna say thank you to great auntie deb and icky no granted granted thanks mate gad great auntie deb thank you for a lovely day today you are welcome and we'll see you and we'll, we'll, we'll see you bright and early Right for Disneyland Tokyo. Woo! 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 Wo
Are we? Are we? Yeah. What? Even, even I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. I'm just quite literally going with the flow. The F1 car is out. Well, I did think we were parting ways, but I think everyone's agreed to come and see the F1 car. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. Look at that. That is epic that it's just outside our hotel. Very cool. Very, very cool. We've got the Aston Martin we walked past this morning, but then if you walk into the actual heart of the hotel, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, well, there's another one over there. Your boy. Are you ready to go to bed? I think you might be. Oh. What the bestest boy has he been today? Every day. Every day. I'm sick of being like a broken record. <laughs> I know. He's so good. Even Lydia's mum keeps saying he's just amazing. And I know it might sound like favoritism, but he's just, he's so good. And what's been, I love carrying him like this, like a sack of potatoes. But do you know what's been even nicer is, I know I've been fi over filming Alfie like crazy. The comments have been so lovely. Everyone's like, Tom, we love it. It's your life, you're sharing There's it. There's no such thing as over filming Alfie. Yeah, there probably is. No. Probably don't need to throw film like the poop in the sick, which I try not to do, but sometimes it, as I'm filming it, he just goes, Bloop. But yeah, you guys have just been absolutely incredible and so lovely with Alfie and my family and my friends and everything. It's just, it's amazing. You guys are the best. But we're home. I'm throwing him on the bed. And we're getting ready. Hey. Hey. For bed. Aren't we? Aren't we? Oh, I love how I'm like ready to just lie down in bed and it's only half past eight at night. Lydia's just said she's going to pop out to the shops for a bit. Well, it's still the same thing as I'm going popping out to the shops for a bit. So good, sir. I think you and me have got the green light to just kick it, chill, like a bunch of blokes. Maybe we'll see if there's a movie on. Yeah. And when we can go off to the shops. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just two dudes chilling, being dudes. <laughs> Come on, eat. You were hungry a second ago. <laughs> Look at him staring you out. It's like he wants a scrap or something. I found myself in a Japanese supermarket and brought myself some strawberries and a mango. And I phoned Tom to see if he wanted anything and he tasked me with bringing him back something random. Oh ho ho, let's see if we can make him regret this. Well, these look very British, but kind of delicious, so. Let's continue to try and find something a bit more dried fish-esque. Peach in a pouch. Maybe we can get him to eat a bit of fruit. Oh, here it is. Dried seafood. Ooh. Or fishy snack, potentially. Hmm. Wait, are those the flakes he loves? So many options. I think I'm going to get some of these little shrimps. What on earth is all this fun stuff? I also don't want to give him food poisoning accidentally. Okay, these look like he'll actually like them, so I'll get some of those as well. Well, he said random, and I went random. And that all happened because I accidentally went to the basement instead of floor one um, on my shopping expedition. And now we've got a lot of random things. Now, I can't remember how long to get back to the hotel. <laughs> I've made it to Bic camera, which means my hotel is in that direction. T minus two minutes and the random shopping haul will be back at the hotel. I've made it. Uh oh, look. <laughs> How much did you buy? Lydia, <laughs> did you get carried away? Oh. I can't believe you brought back so much stuff. This is ridiculous. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to. Alright. Okay. Do you want random or do you want what I thought you might quite like? Random. random. I got, got whatever you want. Go on. Okay. This is this is did you go to 7 Eleven? No. Where'd you go? Full supermarket. A full supermarket? I accidentally ended up in a supermarket because I went to the basement by accident instead of one. Oh. I was getting myself a mango. Oh. Maybe maybe, maybe we should met, let mummy go on adventures more often. Fine. Hiya. <laughs> he Hiya. goes, no, let us stay. Right. Because I know that your random was some fish. Yeah. I also went to the dried fish aisle. For oh, it. no. Is it, is, it dry, is it dried shrimp? Yeah. Oh, dear. Then I oh, thought, dear, oh, dear. And he saw what? And then I saw these, and I thought, these are the things that you love on top of those fall things. Uh huh. What is it? 
Oh, like bento flakes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I see a fish theme going on here. Then I thought you'd actually like these, but they only came in the world's largest pack. Okay. So if you don't like them. We're buggered. What? Oh, is it like the mix? Yeah. I love these. Oh my gosh, Lydia, that is a lot. Flipping out, we have to share these out with the hotel. Crikey, jo yes, good show. Yeah. And then you said random, so yeah, I like random. My last one is my favourite. What? What on earth is it? They're face masks, but they. Oh no. The no, face. they're not. Yes, let's do them. Yes, this is well good. Are you gonna do one? No. Why? You got baby skin. Okay, great haul. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I'll try. Okay. Yeah, go on, Alfie. I don't know if you're supposed to eat these just like this, but I think they can just be sprinkled on like a garnish, but I'm going to try the dry prawn first. You ready? I did say I didn't want to food poison you. <laughs> Sniff behind the camera. Oh! They are pongy. They are potent. Oh, look at them, bad boys. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Dusty? Are they? Are they? Why are you putting more in? No, they don't really taste like anything. Is the smell kind of, stronger than the? They kind of a little bit more. Oh, I did well. He likes them. To be honest, even I... when I try and go random, I pick something delicious. What does it taste like though? What? A plastic bag. Not that I eat plastic bags often, but they kind of taste like a plastic bag. You get a two out of ten for these. Okay. You said random. For random, it's about six. Okay. For taste, it's about two. Okay. Next one. Aye. Bag of bento flakes. I think it's I think it's bento flakes. Oh, smells phenomenal. Smell. Oh yeah. It smells very good. Are you ready? Just a few more calories for the day. Maybe I've not put that much in. <laughs> you did go hard on that. Um, one out of ten. <laughs> um, I might as well just put fucking hay in my mouth. <laughs> or like guinea pig land. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad. Yeah, that, that's the one. It, they smell like they're going to be like candy. You put so much in. And it tastes like fucking straw. <laughs> Man, that was. Yeah, that, that, that was that was good. Alright. What's daddy got? Time for my snack bag. A little bits and bobs. This, look, bob. this looks like it's going to be a banger. Smells good. It smells good. Ooh. Yeah, it Ooh. smells good. It smells peanutty. Taste test. That's got a good crunch on it. That's like an 8.5. Whoa! They're a bit of you. If these were just on the side, I'd probably... Oh. Was this towel wet before? Um, yeah. No. Okay. Ignore the distraction. Engine. Uh, these are great. These are like an 8.59. Excuse you often. These are really good. Try them. Honestly. Just, just like a combination. It's better when you just chuck them all together. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Yeah, they are. Oh, I did good. Exactly. Mm. Why don't you wash them down with a bit of hay? <laughs> <laughs> That's mm. good, right? Mm. Is that the rice cracker? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I Alfie know. Wants some. I know. Alfred, mm. Alfred, I'm afraid you're not allowed those. Stay I'm away. Stay away from them. Look at him just staring at them. Oh, they're nice. They are good, right? Yeah. Oh, peanut. Out of ten. As a snack. Yeah. Mm, solid eight. See. Yeah. Hey, and for your randomness shopping spree, ten. I'm not finished yet. No. We gotta do the masks. There's another selection of these as well. What? Oh, there's different flavours. I told you he'd get the snacks. Alfred. He's so good now. I'll let him play with him. You can just him. reach things. Okay, right. You might take your eye out with them. And then it'll be Dad's fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't set the game. No. <laughs> right, if you can get over here, you can play with them for a bit. So I want to see, I want to see some crawling. Look, it's like the, it's like get, the gold. Look at him. The He'll get there. So pop, no. <laughs> no way. No, no, you're good to do that. That's fine. But Daddy's just very impressed. No way. As if we've got a genius baby. <laughs> he, he was like, leverage. I got this. You've got to get the plastic bag away from him, though. Yeah, no, obviously. 
<laughs> get that off the bed. Right, this, apparently there was multiple different packs that came in this bag, so this is the second set. We have a piece of wood, covered in seaweed. It's delicious, isn't it? Holy crap, that's like a town of 10. Phenomenal. I'll take these women for the rest of the trip. Yeah. yeah no, honestly. Yeah, these are nice. <laughs> we literally can't move this far enough away. He is on the move. He's on the move. I, gi I, give him, I give him a month. Oh, yeah. A month and he's going to be fully caught. If he out. wants something, he gets it. Look at him. Lydia just said to me, which face mask are we doing? I'm like, wait, what are you on about? It's just one. And it's not. It's all individual faces. Well, I think we're about to find out. Right, Alfred, you get to decide which face mask dad's going to put on. Okay, which one of these? Oh, yeah. oh, he's really yeah, going for it. Oh, my gosh. Go on. Oh, he's thinking. Which one are you going to get? Oh, no. Oh, that one. <laughs> Put your hand on it. No. <laughs> okay, I'll wear this one. And which one's mummy going to wear? Okay. Ta. Oh, wait. Mm, it's not really so flattering, that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Good boy. This is really awkward. We're now actually hiding in the... I don't know, what do you call this? Dressing room. The dressing room. Um, because I accidentally picked up one of these bottles of water that was like lay on the bed because Lydia was like drinking it. She fell asleep, it was there. And I went to pick it up to move it. And I accidentally picked it up, dropped it. Then when I picked it back up, I picked it up, like picked it back up upside down and poured it everywhere. And then it got slippy, I dropped it. I spilled water all over my laptop. And now we've got housekeeping here to help tidy up so we're gonna do the face masks in the dressing room are we ready are we steady let's go no it's not oh oh this is this is some nastiness wait green tea's matcha yeah really oh this guy from Say, yeah, this guy's got a fright. Both of us are about to walk out with these. Thank ones. you! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the band. Oh my gosh, Liz. It's so funny. I feel like I'm wearing like a horror mask. I look like. Look at Alfie. He's absolutely bricking it. I look, I look like a Saw character. <laughs> Wanna play a game? Alfie is actually kind of confused as to what's going on right now, but um, I can't stick down the bottom layer because of my, my beard. So it's kind of just kind of floating off me. Let's have a look at you, Lid. Oh, wow, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Alfred, why are you facing away from your parents? What could you possibly be scared? Oh, dear, he's crying. Are you ready for the reveal? Hi, son. <laughs> We are your parents, oh, and we God. love you. Well, I put him there, and he 360 rolled all the way over here. Yeah, there, lad. Oh. Here you go, son. Like, oh, imagine if we had a little baby mask for him. That was just water or something. That would be even more terrifying. We look like something out of a horror film. Yeah, we do. Do the creepiest face you can. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this is really awkward. If, thank you, you. if you look through the window, then into this room we're both sat on the floor with a child doing doing this we look like it's starting to itch my face i think i'll have to take it off are you allergic i don't know oh imagine God. if you took it off and you look just <laughs> like that like, like everything a, like a stamper yeah <laughs> i hope not <laughs> i don't mind it yeah, yours looks all right how does it say oh it does say green why would you buy green tea ones i didn't know they were green tea it's obviously japanese on them <laughs> He says green tea in English. You didn't odd the name, I don't think. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to put it on him, but every it's taken every bit of resistance to put one, like, to not put one of these on him. He's so wet. It does look like you've been in the shower. And I look like... <sighs> yeah, I look like a cartoon character. Right, I'll be, you're going to give you back there. And I don't know how long I'm supposed to wear this for, but... Hey guys, Tom here. Thanks for tuning into the vlog. Oh, thank goodness for housekeeping. Look at that. The bread is like the, the, the bread. Bread. The bed was soaked wet through. Like honestly, it just it was a full bottle of water, and it was just failure after failure. I picked it up, dropped it, picked it up, dropped it, spilled it all over my laptop. Are you okay, bud? 
Are you alright? <laughs> He's like, no, will you please take the mask off, Dad? You know what? It has actually been five to ten minutes, so I am going to remove the mask. Can't say I feel any different, to be honest. <laughs> the sound of pure nastiness. Ugh. I've now just got loads of slime stuck to my face. Lydia just said I'm supposed to like massage it in and just leave it there, so I'm gonna do that and hopefully not wake up in the morning with like an allergic reaction or a rash. Good morning, little weed. Good morning. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Where today we're waking up in Tokyo to go and do one thing and one thing only. And that's to take this little dude to his first ever Disneyland. So if you're as excited as he is to join us on this adventure, then do me a favor. Make sure you click that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell, and you guys will be notified every time I post a new vlog for your faces at 7 p.m. every single weekday. And oh boy, are we so close to our goal of 2.6 million subscribers. Oh, little dude, you look so ready. Let's do this. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Hello, Tokyo, Japan. Not quite sure why I'm not wearing my jumper right now, because it is a nippy. I'm going to give a good morning wave to Godzilla over there. Hello. Which gives me time to put my 10 year anniversary syndicate original hoodie on. Oh, yeah. And then obviously head into 7-Eleven, where we're going to need some supplies for our train journey. Because it's going to take us T minus 35 minutes to get where we're going. And it looks like it's a busy day on the trains. So let's hope we can fit. We've got to get from here to here. All right, mate. <laughs> We're here. All right. Welcome to Tokyo Disney Resort, <laughs> where I am so beyond excited to go to this Disney, like more excited than any I've ever been to. And if we check in with Alfie, how excited are you, little dude? <laughs> Whoops, almost got punched by Lydia there. If there's one rule in our household, it is you do not wake the baby. Oh, wow. That's going well for you. <laughs> I've always just realized that that shop it's a giant suitcase. Here we go. Dreams and magic Tokyo Disney Resort imagination. We're in. When I was a kid, I never did Disney. I didn't have the Disney channels. I didn't have Sky or anything like that. I didn't really care about Disney. But then as an adult, when I came for the first time, I just fell in love with the magic of it. And it's got me hooked. Like everything about it, the, the feel good vibes, the parks, the I food, the everything. Disney. Like honestly, I don't know. It, this is, this is so if you're a hater or you've never experienced, let me tell you this right now, it is the best thing ever. Is this your last one? No, you've done Hong Kong. I don't this think I've done Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Like, look at the details. There's a monorail all themed, but this is what I'm looking at. Look at Tinkerbell, just chilling there. Security cleared. Mickey Mouse and his hands at the clock. That's great. In we go. Did we just get in that smoothly? There's characters absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Time. And as soon as you walk through, an army of characters. Can we go for a high five? Yes! <laughs> and I was like, don't wake him up, otherwise my, my girlfriend's gonna punch you. Wow, this place is actually stunning. And we're only just at the entrance. Okay, Tokyo, what have you got to offer? Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. There you go. <laughs> We've been here T minus two minutes and Lydia is already trying to pick herself up a new set of Mickey Mouse ears. I've had to leave her to it because I've got a feeling she's going to be a while, but I've just come outside to take a look at the castle again and it's just glorious. And even though I've had a sandwich this morning, I am Hungarian. Hot dog maybe? Now. <laughs> it's a great breakfast. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Walt Disney. Flipping heck. What a legacy he's left behind. I found the family, I found the family, I found the family. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're at Disney! We're at Disney! We're at Disney! Okay. Oh my goodness. Are you dead? Oh my goodness. How nice is this? Oh my gosh. How cold is this? Oh, it's freezing, isn't it? <laughs> and he's awake! You're the most magical place on earth! <laughs> oh, I am so excited to walk around right now. We've got Adventureland over here, but we're ignoring that for now. We're getting a closer view of the castle, and I think we're on the hunt for a turkey leg. We've made it to the western area. And who else would we find here other than the rootedest, tootedest cowboy in the wild, wild west? <laughs> oh, yeah, and Jesse over there. 
Oh, these kids must be so stoked. I, I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's a boat just tooting off. Oh, and I filmed a train as well. Look at this. I'm getting everything in one shot. Wow. Hey, Vic, we are doing it wrong. Why have we not brought a, a blanket for a picnic and chairs? Oh. I didn't know you could do that in Disney. We did not get the memo. I think we found where to get our turkey legs. The cowboy cookhouse. Smells good. Oh dear, how long does this line go for? Oh, it's, it's not that bad. Hey, and bit. he's got your bag beat. Look at that. It's the Monsters Inc. door with boo on it. Six minutes later, we've made it to the front and we're getting a smoked turkey leg. And I think I'm going to try a Kirin Ichiban draft. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Arigato. I have no idea if this is just a normal beer or it's themed, but it came in a themed cup. On Tastes like just a bit. Oh, look at this. Bang. Cheers, team. Cheers. Touch legs. <laughs> to Disney. It smells good. Smoked turkey. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. That's our first, uh, first Disney meal of the day. First of many. What will be next? Well. <laughs> My turkey leg's gonna have to wait because as I was eating it, I chomped into it so hard without realizing I'd bit into my lip and take a look. Oh my god, oh, all lid. Ow. One ice cream, please, to uh, heal my wounds. You can't even ride that though, because I bit into it and I was like, oh, I made such a deal of it, like I've just bit through my lip. And then I carried on eating and then bit through it again. So I feel like my lip is hanging out here right now. Arigato gozaimasu, Deb. Thanks, Deb. Oh. Uh, uh, that is painful. Oh! <laughs> Flying V! Caw -caw, caw -caw. I was actually very against you buying me this, but. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever filmed, but I, wow. Oh, that is so helpful. My mouth feels on fire. I probably jumped through it, <laughs> like, with. With my sharp teeth, like, Arr. anyway, we've made it to Critter Country. Just gonna take a shortcut. I need to go that way, but I'm just gonna quickly um, <clears throat> go up and uh, <laughs> round. Nailed it. Oh, and I found the log flume. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Are you buying that for Alfie? Yes, we can hold it when you use Pocahontas. Oh, we're going to see Pocahontas today. I can't wait. Hello, oh, dude. Do you want some ice cream? Do you want a little bit of ice cream? Yes, you do. No, it's cold. I'll, I, I, I'll give it to you. You ready? <laughs> Is that a bit cold? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I have just never seen anything like this at Disney before. Vic, are they setting up for the parade? Where? Look, because they're putting the barriers out. Are they yeah. setting up for the, to watch the parade? This is serious. This is right. We, every other country's doing it wrong. Just so that you all know, there's an hour and 15 minutes till the parade. And they're just setting up shop. They've got, they're basically unpacking homes. I need to say less. This guy's doing it right now. They've got, they've got, they've got everything. Someone's about to pull out a kitchen sink in a second. Now, as you know, I have Alfredo, who is five months old. So our ride choices are limited to go on with him. So for our first ride, we will be going on It's a Small World, which luckily only has a 15 minute queue. Dad life. In we go. 10 minutes of queuing later. We've made it to our first ride. We're excited. Oh, all aboard. Well, the ride's going great. <laughs> Well, if he's afraid of It's a Small World, uh, I don't know how he's going to hold up in the future. <laughs> and we're off. He does look like he's ready for it, though. Ah, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the this is the terrifying nightmare fuel music. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to see these dolls in my nightmares tonight. Here we go, Alfie. It's a Small World. Terrifying characters and... Hey, Olaf. Hey, oh, and Frozen. Oh, I didn't realise there's like actual characters in it. Hey, oh, is it England? No? Wait, Prince Charlotte and Cinderella? And then over to the left, this is England. There you go. Yeah, this is England. Alice in Wonderland. It's here, Peter Pan. <laughs> he's loving it. He's actually looking at everything. Oh, he's looking up. He's looking at that. Wow. Oh, la la, France. Yeah, this is 
Scots, we've got Scotland with the bagpipes, and then the Irish. <laughs> Pinocchio and Jimmy Cricket. Wow, this is way better than the other ones. Hercules. And Pegasus. Aladdin and Jasmine up there. And an awesome looking samurai. This is just an Easter egg hunt for all the characters. Are you enjoying this? Look at that. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. And then Moana up on the hill. <laughs> oh, are you okay, little bird? Having a nice time. We did it! We found him! We actually found him! It's a, it, wait, it's a, it's a bejazzled Nemo. <laughs> you so totally rock, squirt! I'll be the first to say it. I enjoyed that. Rather than it just being the weird, creepy dolls staring at you the entire time, the fact that they had all the characters mixed in there was mint. It, it was like Ice Spike. I really enjoyed it. And he's just tired. He's ready for a sleep. He's just overwhelmed. How cute was that? That was a moment. That was a Sorry, moment. Baby. It's like he's all it is. Over again. He's just, I can't wait until he's a little bit older and he can actually like, like take things in. Like he's taking it in, but take things in and that ask us questions about it. I love you. Ooh, and something's under construction off there in the distance. It actually looks almost looks like it blends in with the clouds. What is going on here? From Peter Pan to Russian dancing with his grand. It's a fucking pigeon! Oh, what to do, what to do. What I like doing best is doing nothing. We're back in cowboy land and we've decided to join the masses on sitting on the sidelines and there's Lid and a mum. Because in T minus 15 minutes, a parade is going to go by and we want to watch it. But I'm wandering off to find more food because something here smells incredible. And on the menu, they've got a creme brulee churro and a pork rice roll. Sold. Look at these outfits. You okay? I got a small feast. Arigato gozaimasu. Attempted to get drinks for everyone as well. I thought you might be hungry. So I got you um, all sorts. Are we happy with a cup of tea? Perfect. Churro? Try that first. Try what? Ooh. I'm gonna try a rice sausage. Very confused by the look of it, but we're going for it. Mmm. Look at it. Phenomenal. Wow. And then for dessert, creme brulee churro. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. It's almost showtime. And we've got the best seats in the house. Amazing, absolutely amazing, yes! We're now heading off to a bit of a meet and greet where we're gonna try and find the one and only Pocahontas! A nice smile too much, you get like this stress in the back of my head, and I'm, I'm like smiling so much right now. Oh, come here, give me a hug. Oh, that was so lovely. What the boat actually moves? I didn't realize that. We gotta get on it. I kind of want to try the toot toot thing. Yes. <laughs> Now, I'm not even hungry, but I feel like I'm on a mission to try food from every location, so I'm going to see what the Raccoon Saloon's got. Ooh. There's a Critter Sunday, which is chocolate and milk swirl with Mickey Churro, but I think I'm just going to try a sausage Danish. Don't know what that is. Okay, now I do. Because conveniently, they've got this thing here, and it's that. My diet's definitely gone out the window today. Look at that. I did not go to the gym, no. We just need to do a lot more hiking around this park. You ready? 
sausage Danish. Oh, bloody hell. That is hot. But I licked it. It was very nice. Just going to waft it in the wind to try and cool it down. You know, just waffling the wiener. Deb. What are you on now? That is, that is good. Careful, it's hot. Wow. That phenomenal. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah. Just saying to Lid, usually people come to Disney to go on the rides. I'm just taking in the entire experience of everywhere where we are and enjoying food. Oh, <laughs> back they go to say hello again. <laughs> I guess they just can't get enough of each other. Oh, mm. oh, this is cute. He's getting his first time at, at Disney sticker. Alfie. Hey, little dude. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Yes. We're switching up locations now and we're heading to somewhere a little more tropical. Aloha. But we've passed straight through that. We're walking by New Orleans and we'd be heading to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Caribbean. Around and around and around we go. It's only a 20 minute line and as Lydia just said, it is moving pretty quick. So before we know it, we'll be finding Captain Jack. Beware. The cracker. We're almost there. And the HMS. Is that Emma? Yeah, the HMS Emma is ready for us. A vast mates, welcome to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates in Japanese sound amazing. Oh, Deb's bag does the front row. See, yes. This should have been his first ride. This should have been it. Small world. Come on, Pirates of the Caribbean, yes. All right, we're on the HMS Annette. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything on this ride, but if I look to... <laughs> don't you laugh at me. <laughs> but we could go for a romantic dinner afterwards. Look at that. Very ambient. Um, I hope Alfie doesn't get too scared from this. <laughs> you horror my mateys. Here lies the man who last played with my plunder. Yarr. I was waiting then to see if he was going to speak English, but I think we're sticking to Japanese. To face a pirate's cast. Proceed. That was cool. That was well cool. What? Don't tell him, Carlos. Don't be cheeky. There he is. Yo, ho, ho. Pirate's life for me. Well done, my little dude. That was your first little ride with a bit of a drop in it. It's quite scary, that one. Is it scary? Well. Oh, you were a big boy and I was so proud of you. Well done. Nah. Now he could go back in this. Oh, would he prefer Daddy carries him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my for God's of course that was coming. We're just wandering through the streets of New Orleans and I thought, oh, I'd go in here and see what I can find and... I found some like bejazzled pieces of art and it's 1.4 million yen. Wait, that one's that one's 1.5. Flipping heck, how much is that in British? Not cheap, that's all I know. But that is pretty nice. Wow, um, I just decided to price check that uh, with a currency converter and the 1.5 million spectacle on top is a whopping screenshot of screen now, boom. Nearly eight grand. Who's casually dropping that kind of cash at Disney? Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye now. Icky Nose taking him for a bit of a, an adventure. And mum and dad, shock, are on the hunt for food. Yeah, we're going to I know. I swear we're doing Disney wrong. People come here for the rides and everything, and Aww, we've just come for food. I'm just saying for the, for the smiles. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. Just, just taking it all in. Because if you want to go on a ride, they're like a hundred minutes to a two hour wait. I'm, I'm like... And when you got a baby? Yeah, yeah, just like, nah, we'll just go on the 10 minute queue ones for the baby. Yeah. The experiences. Alfie's loving it. And then we can, oh, we've we got... got yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is our experience of Disney. We have to get that. Ooh. Ginger pork and egg. Yeah, ginger pork and egg, okay. And a fried chicken burger. Yeah. Are we just typical? Are we just basic bitches? Yeah. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Yeah. Sold. Order placed. We've gone for our food and we've picked one of each of these sauces. Never had it before. So we're gonna. I look like I'm playing bingo. Look at how many receipts I've got to collect all our food. This is ridiculous. All collected. I now have to play the game of Fine Lydia. Are you ready? She is. 
<laughs> the one person with the massive fluffy balls on her head. Hello there. You did really well, thank you. Oh yeah, there you go. We've got chicken nuggets as well. Go on, let's try one each then. You go first. Oh, it's nice to sit down, flipping heck. I'm a bloody knackered. We didn't tell you guys what happened this morning. I don't know if I've got a clip that I can roll now. But basically, um, at eight o'clock in the morning, this morning, an alarm went off in the hotel to the point where it turned on all the lights in the room. Um, a red flashing light was going on. And I honestly thought there was like another earthquake hitting and it was like a panic mode, like this is really bad, get out of the hotel. Like, how awful was it? I literally turned on all the lights in the room and we were like, I was confused, I was like, did you just turn the lights Yeah, I, I was like, what are you doing? Why would you do this? And it was like making this crazy sound. So we had a pretty disturbed night's sleep, obviously then with a child as well. So yeah, a bit all over the place today. So it's quite nice to like sit down and chill and get some that. food in us. What did you do? Rave at Disney with, without your child? Came for food. Just sat down and had food, but Mickey Mouse they're chicken good. nugget review. They're good. And those chips are so oh, good. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Mm. Mm. Mickey Mouse fry review. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like a good chip. Wow. Wow. Really good. Man, they shit on McDonald's. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Look at the baby. That's hilarious. What's on it? I think it's pork and egg. Mmm. Mmm. The, the meat reminds me of like, like a barbecue grill burger. You know, like the typical ones oh, that you buy from nice. Asda or something. Oh, I know it sounds fuck. quite weird. It's not, it's not the best, but it's okay. It's okay. And for Lydia's taste test review, all the health comes off. Yep. Do you understand what I mean? Kind of like tastes like, not in the rudest way, but like basic meat. Not bad. Not bad. Not great. Probably was a bit crunchier and healthier with that on. Yeah. I'm looking forward to trying this. Oh, you're going out for an out of 10? Yeah, like a four. She said it was all right and then gave it a four. <laughs> but the fries though? They're a They're, you're right? They're solid. They are solid. There's no way that just happened. <laughs> it was solid. Let's try this sauce. It's not spicy. It is black as well. It's called chili sauce. Whoa. It was at this moment. That is definitely chili sauce. <laughs> Holy fuck moly, I should not have put that much on. That's spicy. We're going to have to wait to try the next sauce review, uh, but this one I would taste, taste like razor blades. <laughs> That's got a kick, right? Yeah, but it's more. Pain. <laughs> no, it's like... Like citrusy. Really? Like lemony. Yeah. Or yeah. Limey. Limey. Yeah. Which makes yeah. it feel spicier. Yeah, that's weird. Yay. Not a fan. I've just given Lydia the phone to film the next one, and I was like, oh, hopefully this one's nicer. But this is called spicy. What? Harissa. Harish. Harissa. Harissa sauce. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I think you're just a wolf. Why did we pay money for those sauces? What are you giving it? Well, it's awful because it's spicy. <laughs> it's so addictive. It's like a knife. Try the burger. Chicken karate burger. <laughs> Got all the help in there. Mm. With whatever's left of my taste buds. That's pretty good. It's weird that they put tartar sauce on a chicken burger, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't know because I can't taste anything. Like it just tastes like razor blades, like I said. So you try that. That's a good burger, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what's nice about like over here? Oh. You feel like you're eating actual chicken in the burgers. Really? It's not like much like. Look at it. It actually looks like chicken, like real chicken. I actually disagree. I find all the chicken that we've eaten over here feels like slimier. Yeah, because it's not overcooked. That's, the, that's how chicken should taste moist, not overcooked. 
don't know what you're talking about. Like that's what everything is here. Lydia might be completely right here, or factually is, because I think the meat, rather than being like chicken breast, is chicken thigh, and it is so moist. What a word to describe a fast food burger than moist. We are rested, we are recharged from the Tomorrowland Terrace, and now we're potentially heading to the next park. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Because the majority of the things here in Disneyland I've actually seen before, but the Disney Sea second park I've never been to before, so we might go over there. We didn't make it to the new park yet, but instead another food place because Lydia wants one thing and it comes in the form of little green dumplings. And this is kind of bizarre, never seen this before. I don't quite understand what this is from. I'm going to guess it's just space themed. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Now we wait for our food to be ready. It gets shot down the chute through this tube into this lady. Ooh. And we are presented with our little aliens. Arigato gozaimasu. I think if you come to Disneyland for food, you're going to have to time your life. But if you come to try and enjoy rides, be you'll day. probably get it's the same three. At every yeah, Disney I know, though. I know. You'll, it's the same. you'll get three rides out. Yeah, but people don't come to Disney for the day. People come for like the week. Oh, the only. So that's fair. You do like a couple of rides one day and then experience some yeah. things. And yeah, 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 day. yeah. That's that's. We're doing it all the way. Like, Speaking of food, lovers, what is that? Hey, it's the family. Yeah, we brought you some a surprise. I don't, is it mochi? Oh, he's fast asleep. Well done. That's why you bring the grandparents. We're now just wandering along Main Street and I just saw this menu and thought I'd see what it is. A special dessert menu. And a steak? Okay then. Sounds pretty good. And hey, look who's over here. Alice and the Mad Hatter. I was going to try and avoid these. It's mochi. The car. That's not bad. Mm. Mochi with... Custard? Mm. Where did you get that bean paste? Oh. What? It's good. Help me. <laughs> and out of one park, absolutely gorgeous, and off to the next. I didn't think we'd get like a monorail or a train or something to take us there, but apparently you just walk out and go right. But I don't know if you have to go all the way back to the train station that got us here to get there. Hmm. You should ask. This is why I dance with Vic, <laughs> because this little guy stole the moment. <laughs> he stole the love of my life. How could you? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hi. Oh. All right, I take back the fact that I was wrong and I'm wrong again because we are actually getting on that monorail and that is going to take us to the other part. <laughs> It's been a shame that the sun's not been out today because it would have just been gorgeous. But when it goes nighttime, this should all look so gorgeous with all the lights. Like it's not raining, it's a little bit cold. We'll take it. Off we go. Next stop, Disney Sea. Whoop! We made it. It's kind of giving me universal vibes, yeah, like yeah. the spinny globe. Like, quite literally. Never even heard of Disney Sea. Didn't know it was a thing. But in we go. This time with an Alfredo attached to the front of me. <laughs> Hopefully he falls asleep. Wow. What an interesting setup this is. Can't say I was expecting this. Nor a volcano <laughs> bang in the middle of it. I would not have thought we were in a Disneyland. No. It's I just can't. so kind of not on fit. It's beautiful. But it's so like not on theme for Disney. Like, this is like a, an entire Venice setup, which is just gorgeous. Again, volcano behind you. <laughs> um, but, and then, like, cruise ship over there. And there's obviously, like, rides scattered all around and stuff. But is, this is it? What? Well, you could say, what, what, what was New Orleans to do with Disney yeah, earlier? I, I guess they're all just themed spots, aren't they? Sure. They do do a good job of whatever theme it is. And they are nailing this right now. Is he fast asleep? He is. He's gone. Oh, he is. He's gone. My little guy. Wow. Big band beat. Broadway. Oh, that's the um, Tower of Terror. It's a ride that goes up and then drops you down. And to get on that now, if we wanted to, 110 minute wait. Oh. I sound like I'm doing Disney so wrong, not wanting to go and get in all these queues. But like most of these rides I've done before, like say whether it's in 
California or Florida, so and they're, they're basically the same, right? Like they actually are. So I'm not really bothered about going getting on them. It is a cool ass building. Look at the size of that thing. It's just destiny for me to go and get on another cruise ship. Bon voyage. We're at the U.S. Steamship Company, and I am getting major Call of Duty Zombies Voyage of Despair vibe from this ship, right? Oh. This is where the outbreak all begins, boys. And rather than going on the steamship, we're taking a good look at the surroundings and these dinosaur bones and getting ourselves some food. Yeah, but I'm going to come back to this on. It's 18 stone. I'm going to be surviving off dust after this. Oh, and don't mind if I do. Bevragino! Heartland beer cocktail with lemon. Maybe rude not to. We've messed up. Look. Tokyo Disney Sea Food and Wine Festival. We could have ate and drank at every single place. Arigato gozaimasu. But if we would have stayed here and ate, nearly every destination had a themed food and drink. Bloody hell, Deb. Oh, wait. oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Okay, yeah, I'm all for it. We've got 45 minutes. to eat and drink. Oh, all of it. That smells good. Probably. Arigato gozaimasu. Is that just me or is there an onion in the bottom of my drink? <laughs> have I, wait, I, we're going to have to try this. It's lemon. Lemon? It's lemon. Ooh. Well. <laughs> oh, dead that. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> It's absolutely busted. That's nice. Have it then. No, I can't. Oh my gosh. It's got blended lemon in a beer. That's nice. Whatever you say. That's nice. Oh, crikey. Th thanks for the drink, though, Deb. Really appreciate it. <laughs> we like to drink with Deb because Deb is a mate. And when it's we drink nice. with Deb, she drinks it down in eight. <laughs> Can I go for the corn chip nachos? And one sparkling cocktail, please. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta have something to wash down that terrible drink. I gotta go to Wow, what we were. Look at that. Thank you. Hey, there you go. Right, You've on. now got a drink. I've got a drink. And. Come on, let's try I'm gonna try that one. Should we try one here? A loaded nacho. It's a rough oh, one. That'll blow your socks off. Why? <laughs> what are you Is drinking it... now? I don't know. I just picked it. Wait, you think that one's bad? <laughs> oh, what have I done here? <laughs> loaded nacho. Mmm, this will knock my socks off. What's in it? I'm the king of making bad decisions. <laughs> All I'm saying is Japanese people have an acquired taste. And these cocktails are not it. But Deb, why not carry a pile of prawns with us? And see what beer they've got to offer there. <laughs> Oh, what actually is it? Oh, it's a chicken roll and a special cocktail again of sake and peach. Deb, yeah. tell me I'm not a genius. Well, I'm not now we have it all. Oh. The wanderers return with a feast from the Far East. I've got cocktails, I've got ruffles. We've been to, we, we, where have we been? Venice, New York, America. Yeah, we've, we've loved life. We've had Look at you. <laughs> we've been down the Rialto. <laughs> what more can we say? What, can, what more can we say? Wow, it got dark here fast. And it would seem this is the place to be. Look at all the people now sat down. Flipping hecko. Found them. Hello, sitter downers. We bring, you food. We bring supplies. Not <laughs> and what good timing to get back. Little dude has just woken up. We've got a place to sit. And look at this. The people have brought like Nintendo Switches to pass the time whilst they sat and waiting for some epic show to begin. Time for me to try my stout. Nope. I am four for four on <laughs> bad drinks. Oh, you can't believe this. So the entire time we've been walking around the parks. I've been looking for the Disney pins to add to like my collection because I've got some, but we've not found them anywhere until now. Well played. Thank you. Which one should we get? Oh, there's only like rare ones just from here we could get. I did want to go for a Mickey Mouse one, but I think I'm just going to go for a cute little Dumbo. Okay. Disney one because it says Tokyo Disney Resorts on the front of it. And I think that would be nice to add to the collection. And hello there. Oh, hello there. Are you liking yeah. all this? 
Oh gosh, he's gonna start ripping things off the shelves. Now, where is this supposed to be? Like yeah, I was gonna say, like, Greece or something? Like, it's supposed to be like the Colosseum or something? What is it? I don't know, but there's the traffic center. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not even bothered about riding the rides. That's like an 110 minute queue ride behind us. Hello, Alfredo. I'm just taking this park in. Look how stunning the boat and the Tower of Terror is off in the distance here. And then the volcano from earlier. Wow, that's so sick. We've now been transported to like a medieval castle underneath the volcano. Woohoo! This is kind of cool. Oh, this is this is straight Game of Thrones vibes. This ain't no Disney princess castle. This is this is a stronghold. Whoa! Inside the middle of the castle is somewhat crazy, but it's a fine dining restaurant which we're not going to. But I just got to show you this. Look at this! Wow, that is amazing. Okay, this place has blown my mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello. Wow, absolutely stunning. And everyone's dining underneath in that. <laughs> From fine dining to medieval castle. Yeah, is it showtime? Nearly. It's showtime. Oh, this is epic. Oh, look at this. It's a full pirate theme down here. Oh my goodness. Look at this view of the park. We're actually now gonna go back down there sat near the front. You definitely need more than 24 hours to do these two parks combined. With the amount of queuing and the amount of things to see and eat and do. Does that mean we're coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Wow, this place has gotten 1,000 times more busier than when we entered at the start. Look at how many people are lining the water's edge. All I'm saying is this this display is better be worth it. We're back at the front of the park where we entered and if you look up there that is the castle I was just stood upon and this is our hopefully prime seated location with the gang. Hello. Oh here we go. The volcano's turned off, the lights are gone. Oh my god! Yeah! So happy right now. You're having fun, little dude. Look at his face. He's hooked on all the lights. This is very impressive. Very impressive. I'm not being biased or anything, but I thought Moana was the best. For no particular reason at all, Moana was incredible. She nailed it. Man, I was, I was crying. I was crying I was that proud. And now the mad rush begins of everyone getting out of here. Look at the chaos. Oh my goodness me. It is absolute insanity. Okay, right time. Woohoo. Thank you, Arigato. Yes, we're going on a ride. Yes! Oh my gosh. Hopefully like this, we're able to get on this now pretty quick. I think it was 55 minute wait before. Now it's 20 because everyone started to leave. Never been on this before and I don't think they've got it anywhere else. 20,000 leagues under the sea. I think that's the sort of ride we're going in. And look at this place. I might as well be on Mars or something. Whoa. Whoa. Very cool. This is exciting. What on earth is this? What? Wow. Bye -bye. <laughs> I've seen what happens to people in submarines. This is not a good idea. That's even worse. Zero. What does this do? I don't know. Are we going to run out of oxygen? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh wow! What? Oh, wait, you're controlling the torch. You go. 
Wait, yeah, look at this. I can control the light where the light goes. Wow. Got cannon ship. Pirates. Ah. Uh oh. I think we're having more problems. What is that? Oh, is it a Kraken? Uh -oh. oh, we're being attacked by a Kraken. This is sick. What? What? Whoa! An electric Kraken. We come in peace. Oh, it's a big face. Spooky. I've never seen this film, so I don't quite fully understand everything that's going on right now, but sure. I think maybe we just keep Japanese. I am confused. Oh, that was fun. I think the Japanese was then. Was the like, story. I think, I think the aliens teleported us back up to the top. Oh. I like Could be wrong. Wow, look where we are now. A new civilization. Incredible. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Was that worth the 20 minute wait? Hey, it was a 20 minute wait, we'll take it. If that was an hour wait to do that, I would have been leaving a one star review. Yeah. <laughs> we literally walked out of the room for 20 minutes. We walked on our yeah, 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 that was pretty fast. Oh, okay. Oh, we did a ride. You've got to be kidding me. We've gone doing 20,000 leagues under the sea and we're missing the main Disney firework display. Oh. We had no idea it was a thing. I can hear it. That's it. That's the finale. It's literally just finished. How the hell did we balls that up? Uh, I don't know. Did we just miss an epic display? You missed the best. I don't think it's epic. Well, we were looking at fish underwater with crystals. I'd rather have seen a firework, in all fairness. Shit. Well, to my surprise, the park is now closing. Hence, the, the closing ceremony fireworks. And um, we're going for food. At, at least the, the silver lining here is there's food at the end of the rainbow. As always. As always. And away we go. Get us to a restaurant. It does smell like a school, like clean cleaning products. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm shattered. <laughs> Are they falling in love with him? <laughs> Ooh, this is where we're going for some food. This food smells amazing. And this is how to order your food. Look at this on an iPad. Just slam the button in and woof, on, on its way it comes. I'll give you one guess what I've ordered. Food. And a beer. This was supposed to come first. What a day. Oh my gosh. That was very, very good. I'm, guys, I am food comatose. I am exhausted. Like, I'm running off probably four hours broken sleep right now. I'm a tired Tom. This trip to Japan has been fun, but it has been far from relaxing. And you know what? <laughs> I think we're only at the halfway stage of the, the adventures of the holiday. I still got an entire new location, or two locations to go to. I need, I need to put my feet up and bloody do nothing for a day. Cause I'm knackered. But this spot near Disney, proper good gear. The final train home. <laughs> Shut it. Very excited. I don't know how he's done so well. Um, like, he's surviving so on much energy. probably about Combined, maybe 45 minutes sleep yeah, all day. It's been such a good life. It's been such a good life. And you know we've got to go home and pack. I need, I need to get sleep. I'm sleeping. From the train ride, whoop. Oh, jump that gap to the hotel. Honestly, how good is that? We can walk up from the subway and the hotel has its own built-in entrance. I love it. All right, did love it, but it's 10 past 11, we can't use it. <laughs> but we found the stairs. Flipping heck. We did it. We survived. We made it. This is our final time walking back to the hotel, mate. I hope you've enjoyed your stay. You enjoyed it? Oh, good. Honestly, when I was trying to pick which hotel to stay at, I'm so glad we chose this one. Oh, baby. Well, here we are for one last time. Home sweet home. Arigato gozaimasu. Woo. I wish I could say time to go to bed, but it's 
Time to pack the bags. <laughs> well, the packing process is in full swing and I decided to put on Japanese television and this is currently what is on, just a normal, like, one to five channel. It's people wearing tights on their head having a face pulling competition. <laughs> what? How did I not turn this television on sooner to watch TV? Because <laughs> this stuff is absolutely bizarre. Even Alf is like, man, this is a lot weirder than <laughs> the dancing fruit I've been watching, Dad. Look, he's been he's been really crying because he's, well, he's been watching this random shit. Um, but he's so tired and wants to go to bed. It's actually now currently like, well, half past one or something, nearly two o'clock in the morning, but we need to get everything packed up and ready to get out of this place for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Because tomorrow at 8 a.m. we're heading to the airport and we are starting our next adventure. I told you guys, we keep going and going and going and going. It's mental. I can't believe, we're, I, think, I think Lydia said it today, we're at the halfway mark of our trip. So if you guys have been enjoying the vlogs, there's a lot more to come and I hope you, you, you're, like, you're looking forward to, so like, what's next? And I hope you've enjoyed what you've had so far, because like, honestly, it's just been absolutely amazing. And still, I know you're tired, little dude, but you're gonna be able to watch back these vlogs and see all the adventures you've been on. And I think that's pretty damn cool. But he's tired. I wish I could just get him down to bed, but honestly, it takes the, the mumly touch of Lydia, giving him a, a cuddle and a love, and obviously a bit of a bit of boob. <laughs> I get, listen, I could offer you one, but nothing's gonna come out of it. Um, and he kind of needs those three things um, to get down to sleep. So yeah, I'm just going to wander around for him for a bit, tire him out. And then when Lydia gets him, um, he should just pass out and be uh, out for the count. So should we keep scrolling the television and see what else we can find? Wait, why is Mark Roberg on Japanese television right now? What on earth? Oh, it's the Discovery Channel. But the fact that he's on here is insane. I I've just been flicking through the channels and I found Mark Rober. No way! Oh, I hope I found the anime. And then the K-pop. Oh, and I finally found what looks to be like a traditional Japanese movie. We got samurais and stuff. And <laughs> it would seem Alfie likes this. <laughs> but I've had to pull him away from it because Lydia has got the bags ready to rock. We are set for tomorrow, even though it's already tomorrow, but we are set for getting up at 8 a.m. to start our new adventure and going somewhere that I've actually never been before. I want you to leave your comments guessing where we're going down below, and if you're right, you're an absolute legend. But in T minus six hours, ugh, we've got to be up, taking our bags down to the front and getting our asses to the airport ASAP. So from me, Lydia and Alfie, thank you for joining us on this journey. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been awesome to be with Lydia's mum. It's been awesome to be with Deb, Lydia's auntie, who got to meet Alfie for the very first time. And then obviously amazing to see B as well. It's just been such an amazing epic adventure and I've absolutely loved it. So guys, just thank you for everything. You've been absolutely unbelievable. Every single person who keeps tuning in to watch these vlogs, you're a legend. I love you and I appreciate it. But I need to get my head down and get some rest because tomorrow is going to be a long day. We have a seven and a half hour flight coming ahead. Bit of a spoiler there for you. And that's not where the traveling ends. So yeah, wish me luck, Godspeed, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Oh, and I kind of pause there at the end because if you don't follow me on Instagram at syndicate on screen now, you really should do because that's where I post all the behind the scenes of like where I'm giving hints of like where we're going off to and where we're going to be and stuff like that. And it's just worth following me. So if you want to go ahead, that's my Instagram. Find me, follow me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.